Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number 15 and in this lesson I'm going to talk about how to insert an HTML image into your website. So if you haven't already make sure that you open the original document from the previous tutorial and after that let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want you to do is to actually locate where you have your HTML file on your computer. In this case I have it stored in a folder called Web Design Tutorials for HTML and the name of that HTML file is called introduction so once you find that file what I want you to do within that folder is drag in an image that you want to use on your website so maybe it's a picture of a family member maybe it's a picture of your logo whatever the case I want you to drag it into that folder and once you have it in that folder there's a few pieces of information that we need to take into consideration and remember and in this case, the image that I'm going to use is called HTML Tutorials. Okay? And what I want you to do is to click one time, left click, on the, the text of the image that you want to use and hit Control C to copy that text. And then go ahead and click in a blank area within that folder to deselect it. And the next thing that I want you to do is to left click on it once and it'll be highlighted blue. And there's some other information that we need to take into consideration and that is the type of file and if you look to the far right of my screen you'll see that it says PNG file and that's the file type so you need to remember that and the other piece of information that is not mandatory but recommended as good practice is the dimensions of that image and in this case it's 604 by 329 pixels and that information is important because it's going to tell the web browser what the size of that image is and it's also considered good practice so keep that in mind but it's not mandatory so once you have that information let's go ahead and go back to uh, the notepad document for our HTML file and what I want you to do is to click right after your comment tag in the body section where it says client does not want horizontal line etc etc and we're going to begin writing our HTML tag for image. So let's write an angle bracket and then IMG, which I already had on the screen if you didn't notice that. And that stands for the image tag. And we're going to hit a space bar between that to create some space. And we're going to write an HTML attribute. In this case, I'm going to write the word border. And this HTML attribute is going to allow me to set the border for our image. And I'm going to write equals. And then in quotes, I'm going to write eight and 8 stands for 8 pixels and it's going to create an 8 pixel border around that image. This is, is optional, you don't have to do it, but I'm just going to show you just to let you know that you're able to do that. And then I'm going to hit the spacebar key and then I'm going to write SRC and SRC stands for source and it's talking about the source. Where is this image located on your website server or in this case on my computer because I'm dealing with it on my physical computer. So I'm going to write equals and then in quotes I'm going to hit control V and that's going to paste that text that we had copied from that folder for that file name. And then I'm going to write dot P PNG and that's the type of file and that was the information that we gathered from that folder as well. And then I'm going to put another quote because we're dealing with an HTML attribute which comes in name and value pairs and value is in quotes. So after you have that, let's go ahead and hit the spacebar key and then we're going to write the word ALT and that stands for alternative and we're going to hit equals and then in quotes we're going to write an alternative text and this is alternative text that will be displayed if for some reason we put the wrong source for our image and it doesn't display the image, it's going to display this text in place of that. So we're going to write HTML tutorials because it's for it and then I'm going to write the word image too so it's an HTML tutorials image that should be there but if it for some reason doesn't display that image it's going to display this text and again remember to put that in quotes because we're dealing with the HTML attribute so after we write that the next thing we're going to define is the width and height and so we're going to write width equals 604 because we grabbed that information from uh, that folder and then for our height, we're going to write the word height equals 
and we're going to put 302. I believe that's what the number was. I'll go back and, and double check that just to make sure. It was actually 329. So make sure that you have the right numbers there. I'm going to set that to 329. And so that's, that's our width and height. And again, the, the width and height are again HTML attributes that comes in name and value pairs. So once you have that information written in, we can write an ending angle bracket and you do not close image tags they're considered empty tags so keep that in mind even if you're using the stricter version of HTML so once you have the same thing I have on screen go ahead and hit control s to save your document and when I say the same thing on screen it would be the ex except for the name of the file if you gave your image a different file name or a different file type obviously you would want to make sure that that, that it references what you have so once you save that let's go ahead and go to that folder where we have our HTML file saved and double left click on it and open it in our web browser and you'll see that it displays the image that we're referencing in this case it's referencing the HTML tutorial image that I created in this case it will be a thumbnail and it has the border that's 8 pixels around this HTML image so let's see what happens if we were to incorrectly reference that image or put put the image in a different folder in this case let's go back to that folder where we have our HTML file stored in our HTML image and we're going to create a new folder in this case I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to new once I find new in here actually I need to click in a blank spot because I had an image selected and I'm going to right click go to new and select folder and I'm going to name this folder images and I'm going to drag that image that we created into the images folder and let's go ahead and go back to our web browser and hit the refresh key and you'll now see that it says HTML tutorials image and that's the alt text that would be displayed if it's not referencing the proper proper image and in this case it's not and if we go back to our uh, HTML document the reason that it's not displaying correctly is because it's not showing the directory for images and in this case if we go back to our folder and we click on images remember I just put that in the, in the images folder so to reference that what we would have to do is go back to notepad and put the word images under source and then forward slash and I need to make sure that that's plural images with the s on the end and that's saying that it's in the images folder and then the forward slash is saying that when you get to the images folder you want to look for html underscore tutorials dot png if we were to hit control s and then go back to our web browser and hit the refresh key it again displays that image so if you have it in a separate folder make sure that you put the proper um, syntax for that in this case it will be images forward slash and then it will have the name of that image file so I hope that this tutorial was helpful and if it was don't forget to embed comment subscribe or share this video and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials and have a great day